My style of play is tight aggressive, using a combination of game theory optimization and exploitative play, earning me a spot with the Poker Pros and 22,383 cash money. Thank you very much for all the support of my friends, everybody who was around during this time. It was very exciting at the same time and also very gruesome. It's a lot of thinking and stressing out about making sure that you can make it to the next level, to the next level, next level of playing Texas Hold'em No Limit Poker. As the chip stacks got bigger, the blinds got bigger, it got even more challenging to do that. To be honest, I'm a, I'm a bit disappointed, but at the same time, excited. You know, it's kind of weird because it's like a lot of people were hoping that I could make it to that final table. They're like, all right, let's just send some energy his way and let's make this happen. But you know what, for a $500 buy-in for a tournament and then to come out ahead like this, this is pretty awesome, you know, to come out like this, this is, three and a half days of work right here. And I'm not complaining. You know, this is this, I'm not complaining. This is, this was good. I just wish that I could get a little bit further and you know, get all the way down. You know, I wanted to be at that final table. And when I got that little taste of people cheering for me for something that they thought was so exciting, so interesting. And the fact that opportunity of making money like this is possible. It's like, maybe I should put more time and effort into it because how often can you make money like this in such a short amount of time, right? The funny thing is that I really put more effort into playing poker for about maybe a year. Even though I've been playing a lot longer, I didn't really notice that I was consistently profitable until I was with a group of friends who decided that we're gonna go ahead and do this. We're gonna go play poker, play basketball, and that'll be our routine, right? So we start off with like cash games. And to be honest with you, this is my very first World Series of Poker event. My first World Series of Poker event. And you know, like, this is nice spending money. You know, the, the buy-in was was this right here. That's that's the buy-in right there. This is, this is the buy-in right here. And this has created that. This will make life a lot easier for the next several months, right? But the idea is to continue to improve and also do more tournaments, do more cash games, and invest into my skills. Because poker is one of those type of games where there is luck involved, but there's also a tremendous amount of skill to know how to do it. I could have done better, I could have done worse, but altogether, the timing and everything, the, my reads, I was, I was on, on, on track. And to make it to the top, I, you know, I, I broke, I busted out at number 53. Out of 28,000 plus players, that's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, the hand that got me out, it was queen, jack, suited, clubs. And the hand was, we, I was the big blind. And um, the guy to my right, he was also a very big chip leader. I didn't have position necessarily, but because he just called to continue on to the hand, I didn't think he had anything strong. So I just went all in. And I did it one time before. So maybe he got pissed off and wanted to see what I had and maybe thought I was bluffing him. So I had Queen Jack, he had King Nine offsuited, And he decided he was gonna go call my hand. Yes, he had a big stack and I probably had about 15 million at that moment where he had 35 million maybe just around that area so perhaps for him it made sense and he took that he took the gamble you know he could have went anyway queen jack i had king nine he had he, he hit the, he hit the king on the flop and i almost hit a straight but not good enough and you know that, that ended my pretty much my journey my poker journey this was my first WSOP tournament and to get this far is pretty, pretty, pretty good. With no experience at all. I, I practiced two tournaments at the Bicycles Casino. They were like, what, a $35 tournament to join and an $80 tournament to join. Each time I joined those tournaments, there was only like 20 to 25 players that joined. There could have been more, but it's just that maybe because during the uh, World Series of Poker going on, maybe a lot of people left during, um, during that time to prepare to play in Vegas. So, 
I didn't really get any good practice. I did spend a lot of time reading and disciplining myself, reading the poker books, reading the forums, websites, watching YouTube videos, and just educating myself of how to do it and disciplining myself. Next part is moving forward, moving on. What's next? Now, I'm just gonna enjoy my money. See ya.